Attacks on critical infrastructure, like the crippling arson on France's high-speed rail network before the Olympics, reveal the chaos and devastation from malicious actors. Or system vulnerabilities. In one of the worst IT outages in history, eight and a half million computers crashed worldwide. Airports, hospitals, logistics centers, and more all got hit where it hurts. Millions of people were left stranded waiting for planes. Doctors couldn't get to their patients' records, and people couldn't cross borders. The damage was caused by a faulty software update pushed out by security provider CrowdStrike to all their customers. Oops. Wow, that global outage showed us the enormous effect of one small accidental bug. CrowdStrike became an unintended training run for the tech team in Paris. And the good news is, their system stood up to the test. Hi, I'm Kai. Imagine if this wasn't a mistake, but a deliberate attack by a malicious team of hackers. Now, picture the target of the attack being a mega event like the Olympics. Today, we're reporting on how critical infrastructure is kept safe from attacks. Coming up in the show, Amin's war driving in Paris, and we have the three biggest cyber attacks on public transport. The danger is real. Let's talk to Evgenia Puno Umiruva, Ponomareva. Jeez, I should have updated my Russian dictionary. Sorry, Evgenia. No worries, everything fine. <laughs> So in your role at Kaspersky, you know what it takes to protect events as complex and high profile as the Olympic Games. Welcome to the show. Hi, Kai. It's nice to be here. 15 million fans in Paris. Is it likely we'll see hackers shutting down the airport, electric grid, or the metro? Unlikely, but technically it's possible because no one can confirm the zero risk for any potential cyber attack. Why is it unlikely? Because the preparation for such type of attacks takes a lot of time, it's very complicated, and only professional cyber criminals can do this. We'll dive more into this in a second. First, let's understand the types of attacks organizers prepare for with a Hacker Games leaderboard of the top threats for public transport. In fifth place, phishing and spear phishing attacks make a strong showing. Coming in at number four, DDoS threats are a force to be reckoned with. In a tight race, malware edges into third place. Data-related threats pull ahead for a decisive second place. But topping the board is ransomware, dominating as the prime threat to the transport sector. Please explain to us, why are ransomware attacks so common? Cyber criminals are often motivated by financial gain. And this type of attack is precisely aiming to obtain this uh, payment from the victim. So everything is about money. Uh, so ransomware is defined as a type of attack where treat actors take control over target assets and demand a, a ransom in exchange to return for the uh, assets availability. Okay, that makes sense. So what are data-related threats? Actually, data are being targeted with the aim of unauthorized access to the systems, for example, or disclosure of some sensitive information. And very important thing for such type of attack that can be used to prepare some other type of attacks like DDoS or ransomware. So it's like a basis. So when you get the information about the infrastructure of the company, then you can use it for anything you want. I see. So let's assume for a second that hackers have obtained such information about the Paris airport or metro. How difficult is it for them to shut them down? Attacks on such systems are usually prepared for quite a long time by professional cyber criminals because they are technically quite complex, big, and often involve significant cybersecurity measures because everyone understands that it's tasty for every cyber criminal because the effect of damage to such systems could be very big. But we often should remember about the insiders, about the people, because sometimes uh, we can get the damage uh, when uh, someone lost an, or published information on public resources. Sometimes it happens. Or just left the paper with his password somewhere on the table. Uh, it still happens, unfortunately. 
Okay, time for some results. Here are the most significant cyber attacks on transport systems. Evgenia, you've been following the action, and I'm more than curious. Who will take the top spot on our podium of shame? You ready? I'm ready. So, the bronze medal goes to the malware attack on Radex Res in 2021. Passengers from 20 airlines couldn't purchase or cancel tickets online, causing widespread travel disruptions. Silver for the river transport attack, where the Lac Le Mans ticketing systems were compromised. The 2021 breach affected operations, and hackers also managed to steal bank details from customers. Ouch! Drum roll! Now for the gold medal, who wins, Evgenia? And the gold winner is the uh, San Francisco Metro ransomware attack. In 2016, there was a successful attack on San Francisco subway. It affected payment terminals, Windows-based employee computers and mail service, and uh, it's blocked ticketing system, and the metro was for free for several days during the weekend. Well, I have to say there are worse outcomes than free rides when it comes to cyber attacks, right? Yeah, you can go for free, but if we talk about the case of San Francisco, the cyber attacks, they requested 100 bitcoins to unlock the data, uh, but no one paid for this, for sure, because once you pay, it will happen again, unfortunately. So maybe in the case uh, of San Francisco, it, it was much more cheap to make the metro for free for, for the weekend, not to pay the money. Ah. Got it. Makes sense. Thanks for presenting the podium of shame and see you next time. Thank you, Kai. Ciao. And good luck during the Olympics. So that covers the broad cyber landscape. Individual safety is under the spotlight, too. As sports fans and locals travel around Paris, the Wi-Fi networks they connect to could also pose a risk. Amin's on the streets of Paris for us. Amin, what have you found? We are in Paris around the Olympic uh, Games 2024 and uh, we are doing Wi-Fi world driving. What is Wi-Fi world driving? It is an exploration of Wi-Fi networks inside the city, especially around the venues where there will be a lot of uh, visitors during the Olympic Games uh, this year. What we are doing is trying to identify the amount of unsecure Wi-Fi networks with that comes uh, a risk because when connecting over insecure Wi-Fi networks, somebody could be listening on the traffic. Somebody could be monitoring the connection or uh, uh, intercepting the connection in order to cause harm for the user. By stealing his credentials, his accounts, his credit card information, and then use this information to cause harm for the users and the guests of the Olympic Games. Thanks, Amin. Amin has checked more than 24,000 Wi-Fi hotspots in Paris and found that around 25% show serious failings like weak or no encryption parameters. That means they're vulnerable to interception, decryption, or cracking attacks. The lesson here? Avoid public Wi-Fi whenever possible. Use mobile internet or, if you have to use a public network, a VPN is a must. Stay safe, everyone. As we cheer on the incredible athletes at the world's greatest sporting event, Let's not forget the cyber threats unfolding behind the scene. In our next episode, we'll dive deeper into the diverse range of hacks, from those targeting governments to those threatening your personal data. Don't miss it. If you like this, give Team Cybersecurity a virtual high five by hitting that button. End programming.